Good optometry morning. This is a magnified view of an eye with a cloudy lens capsule. And this is an eye doctor. And this is the aiming light of a laser. And what happens next in this video is one of the most visually satisfying things that you will ever see. And it's called a YAG capsulotomy. Hey, today I'm going to answer what to expect before, after, and during a YAG capsulotomy. Does it hurt? Is it safe? And what can go wrong? And so I've got a much longer video about posterior capsular opacification, otherwise known as PCO, and you can watch that up here. But for now, here's the facts of life on PCO. So there is a natural bag inside the eye called the lens capsule, and that's what the lens implant is inserted to, and the back part of that capsule can start to cloud over, and that's called a PCO. Now this PCO can be a real growing pain because it starts to blur vision and makes things seem like the cataract is coming back. So you can't just sleep it off or fix it with eye drops or even do cataract surgery again to get rid of it. But it can be fixed with a laser from the 1980s. And just like a 1980s sitcom, a YAG capsulotomy can be wrapped up and finished in 30 minutes with a real happy ending. What you talking about? So YAG is an acronym for a very specific type of laser that's commonly used in the medical field. Now it's important to know that the YAG laser is much different than the laser that's used for LASIK and refractive surgery. And in fact, in eye care, there's a bunch of different lasers that eye doctors can use. But the one we're gonna be talking about today is the YAG laser. And trust me, this laser is Charles in charge of getting you clear vision. So a YAG capsulotomy is a quick and easy procedure that can be performed in the clinic, in the exam room, by your either your optometrist or your ophthalmologist. And now I know what you're thinking. You've been told you should not be using lasers around your eyes. In fact, your mom probably told you that you're probably gonna shoot your eye out. But don't worry, this laser is not one of those Hasselhoff car-like lasers that zaps through everything that it touches. The YAG laser is a very precise laser and it can focus its energy on a very specific location so that the tissue in front of that and behind that and on the way to that and past that is not affected at all. And so it's kind of like the perfect strangers coming together at the right time and the right place. Now in just a little bit, I'm gonna be showing you a video of actual footage of a YAG capsulotomy, and it's one of the most satisfying things to watch, and I pity the fool that doesn't stick around for that part of this video. So what's gonna happen when you come knocking on your doctor's door for your appointment? Well, the doctor's team will be waiting for you, but you won't be waiting that long because you're not gonna be in the office that long, only about 30 to 60 minutes, and actual treatment only takes one to two minutes to perform. So, so on that appointment, the doctor is going to check your vision. They're going to measure your eye pressure. They're going to put some dilating drops and some numbing drops onto your eye to dilate your pupil to make them really big so they can get see the lens capsule a lot clearer. And then you're going to sit at the microscope, which you've done this many, many times before any eye exam, and the doctor is going to perform the laser procedure. Now, when you sit at the microscope, the doctor may put a magnifying contact lens on the surface of your eye to help magnify the laser and also that helps keep your eyelids open. And it's only going to take about 10 to 30 pulses with a laser, which can happen in just a couple of minutes. So here's a video of what the doctor sees during a YAG capsulotomy. So this procedure was performed by one of my optometry colleagues, Dr. Sophia Leung, who practices in Alberta, and she's for sure the head of the class when it comes to some of the advanced procedures like this. And she's performed this textbook procedure of a YAG capsulotomy for a textbook on laser procedures. And speaking of textbooks, if you are an optometrist or an ophthalmologist or someone just likes eye stuff and lasers, and you're looking for a great textbook on lasers, this is the book you want to read. And I'm putting an affiliate link down in the description if you want to pick one up. All right, so here's a schematic of the cartoon picture of the eyeball, just so you get orientated of what we're looking at. I'm going to make it transparent. and we turn it sideways, you're going to see the lens implant on the back and the posterior capsular haze is on the back of that lens implant. So we're putting, turning it center and then zooming in so you can get an idea of what the doctor is looking at. We're going to, in a moment, we're going to go to the live footage of this postcapsular opacification. And a couple of things I want you to note here. So on this image here that I've paused, you're going to see a couple of things. One, these two red lights, those are the aiming lights 
for the laser. That's not the laser, but that's what the doctor uses to aim and focus where you're going to fire the laser at. Now, this white spot here, this is the postcapsular opacification that's clouding the patient's vision. The light is shining from the left to the right, and that's why this area looks kind of cloudy, and some of this area does not, but this area is actually just as opacified as this other area. Let me just start the video again here, and you're gonna see a floater go by here. There's a floater behind the lens, and now before they start doing the treatment, what I want you to do is you're looking at this postcapsular haze. When the doctor starts to do this gag capsulotomy, there's going to be a pulse and you're gonna hear a click and kind of like a high-pitched beep that goes with each firing of the laser. And with each firing of the laser, there's gonna emit some energy to the post-capsular um, haze and it's gonna almost explode and disappear. It's very satisfying to look at. And the doctor, Dr. Luang, she's gonna make a pattern kind of going from top to bottom and then going from side to side to open up that capsule to allow it to be clear. So I'm just going to let this run and let you watch this really, really satisfying video. So you can see she's clearing an opening in that capsule so the patient can see through. This is live time in this video. Um, each click is one laser pulse, and I believe there's probably only about 20 laser pulses that's used in this particular treatment, and this only takes probably a minute, a minute and a half. And that's it. This video here is showing before and after. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see is this is before treatment. You can see this post-capsular opacification, this cloudiness on the back of the lens. On the right-hand side, this is after treatment, and you can see this part of the capsule is all gone. This is the edge of the capsule. This is the opening that's clear. There is uh, still some opacification over here, but the patient won't be seeing that. They're looking right through here. So this is the before and after that you're looking at of the results of the post-capsular uh, treatment. Hey, if you've learned a little bit in this video, I'd love for you to be a golden girl or guy and hit the subscribe and the like button to tell YouTube of the value of this video so I can keep producing content like this. So thank you for being a friend and hit those buttons. Okay, so a common question people ask, is this painful? And the answer is not at all. It's painless just like a full house rerun. Now you might notice some flashes of lights during the procedure, but you're not going to experience any discomfort at all. Once the procedure is done, what can you expect after that? Well, most people are going to notice that their vision is going to improve relatively quickly. Now, it might be a little bit blurry that day because one, your pupils are a little bit dilated, and because of the magnifying contact lens that the doctor uses, there's a little bit of gel that they put on the surface of the eye, and it takes a while for that to dissipate. So sometimes you'll notice it'll be clearer right away, but it might not be until the next day that you start to notice that it's gonna get a little bit clearer. But, but be comforted because now you're gonna be able to recognize your buddy Norm when he walks through that door. So after the procedure, the doctor might prescribe some anti-inflammatory eye drops as well as some eye pressure lowering drops that you might use for a week or so. And then you're gonna follow up with the doctor either the next day and perhaps the next week. So you might notice a few more floaters in your vision right after the procedure, but those will often dissipate and settle down in a few weeks or a few months. You also might have a little bit elevated pressure after the procedure, and that's why you might be on some of those eye pressure lowering drops, but that will also dissipate over the next few weeks. You can resume your normal activities the very next day. There's no downtime at all after this procedure.
All right, so what can really go wrong and really go bad in this procedure? Well, there's really not a lot of stuff that can happen that's really bad in a YAG capsulotomy. You know, occasionally some people will get a little bit of shifting of the lens implant, which can cause a change in your prescription after the capsulotomy. And on very rare occasions, there can be some more serious complications like retinal detachments or corneal edema or macular edema that can occur. But these are so rare that I wouldn't let these be a concern to stop you from getting this procedure because the odds of these happening are about as likely of them having a Booze and Buddies reunion special. So these cells have grown to give you this PCO in the first place. Once you've had the YAG capsulotomy, are these going to come back? And the answer is no way. This is basically a one and done deal. Once you've had a YAG capsulotomy, you don't need another one. And don't you love it when a plan comes together? Now, what else can happen after a YAG capsulotomy? Well, as far as cataracts go, not a lot, but you want to consider other eye conditions that might happen to your eyes. And one of them is macular degeneration. And if you want to learn a little bit more about that, you can watch this video right here. And cheers. Have a great optometry day.